ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel now I want us to start this analysis but first of all please like this video it is so important if you like this video because that is the only way you support this uh, work and that is the only way YouTube get to share this video to other people who are not part of our audience now on to a story that is trending regarding what is happening in state house between the public service commission and the attorney general of kenya i justin bid and joker muturi being appointed as the attorney general of the republic of kenya there seems to be part hustle between the two uh, bodies in that justin muturi being the attorney general seems to be seeking total independence from the presidency you know or from the executive but then the public service commission is telling the attorney general that you cannot you cannot be independent from the office of the president muturi wanted his office to be separated from the office of the president so that it's absolutely independence from the presidency you know what brought about this issue is the fact that muturi was pushing ruto out of the appointment of solicitor general so that his office can be responsible for that appointment muturi is largely seen as a person who is working with the president but fighting the government from within the point of concern here is that justin muturi feels that he is being sidelined and that he feels that he's not being given uh, opportunity to exercise uh, his powers so it's not the first time you know they had hitting head of public service commission mr felix kosge is exercising this kind of authority there was a time he made a similar move on moses korea where there was a coalition on roles where either moses korea usurped certain roles which according to the constitution was supposed to be exercised by felix kosge or vice versa so in this analysis ladies and gentlemen i want us to go extensively into the nitty gritties of this looming coalition between the public service commission and the attorney general's office and consequently establish whether the constitution has made the ag office entirely independent so a quick fact check according to kituo Cheshiria, legal center blog website on defining independent offices as prescribed by the constitution of kenya 2010 the office of the attorney general is another independent office this is because he or she is a principal legal advisor to the government he or she has the duty to appear and defend the government in both civil and criminal case the office autonomy is important for objectivity professionalism and accountability in the event that tv stations are shut down by the government in contempt of court orders then the independence of the office of the attorney general comes to question article 156 chapter 6 of the constitution of kenya states that attorney general is the guardian of the rule of law and public interest and that involves obeying court orders and respect to the due process of the law so the question here is is it right for public service commission to warn attorney general against claiming that ag is independent personally i think it's not right for the psc to warn the attorney general according to the kituo chasharia legal center the attorney general is independent that would mean even the appointments are supposed to be done i mean according to the the justin Turi, that they are supposed to be done from the office of the attorney general probably with the approval or blessing of uh, william ruto so the the bone of quotation here is whether solicitor general is supposed to be appointed by the attorney general or the president according to attorney general justin muturi he believes that he's supposed to come from his office but according to felix kosge felix kosge believes that that appointment is supposed to be from the president 
or rather the uh, nominations to be done or appointment to be done by the PSC public service commission but the approval to be done by the president so i think this is where now it becomes pretty interesting and it's it's what is informing this kind of coalition that is being witnessed and personally i think this is just the same narrative that people have been talking about what attorney general is going through in state house we saw previously what happened between pu public service commission and moses Kuria. there was some you know issue there whereby uh, the moses Kuria believed that he was the one who was supposed to be in charge of uh kazi uh, serikali according to the ministry that he holds but the public service commission commissioner also believed that he is the one who's supposed to be in charge of that so there was this kind of uh you know uh, coalition that was also witnessed so justin muturi has always found himself at loggerheads with these uh, uh, people especially from the rift valley you know justin muturi comes from the mount kenya so these people from the rift valley have always you know given him uh, difficult times when it comes to managing that this department of attorney general or that office there was a time there was claims of ag fighting the government you know from within there was those kind of claims that these claims went viral also there was a time of ag being frustrated uh, just like what I said, but that what is happening between Felix Kosgei and the Attorney General right now. Also, there was this claim of Mount Kenya, Rift Valley power struggle. So these things have always come to the public limelight. There was a time Alice Wahome also made a certain appointment. You know, this appointment was supposed to be, I think, ratified by the President. So this appointment after she made it, PSC also got involved in the nullification of that appointment. And this did not sit well with Alice Wahome, who claimed that her office was not given powers to exercise the full mandates that are bestowed to the office as far as the Constitution 2010 is concerned. So also, there have been talks that State House is controlling all these ministries and that the ministries the cabinet secretaries in those ministries are not supposed to make any you know uh, decisions like that's why you find that even recently in this doctor strike there was a time where felix koske was seen to be releasing statements which were contradictory to susan nakumicha's position susan nakumicha being the cs of health had some stand so felix koske brought about different positions and this is the reason why you find that right now uh, susan nakumich has become a laughing stock in this old drama of the doctor strike so what attorney general is experiencing is exactly what other css are experiencing uh, between their ministries and the public service commission so what happens is that public service commission doesn't want to give these ministries these state departments uh, an ability to exercise their duties of course we know that the css are part of the presidency but we also understand that the attorney general according to what we have read to you the attorney general's office is supposed to be independent so because the attorney general's office is supposed to be independent we expect that he's supposed to be allowed to make uh, appointments because if the cs alice Wahom was complaining that she's not being allowed to make appointments because she can appoint someone so what about attorney general who is the legal advisor of the government he advises all these ministries whenever they are they are making mistakes legally so he is the one who's supposed to advise them you know so that is according to the structure of the government so attorney general is claiming that he's not being allowed to exercise his powers uh, so and this just like i've explained it is just what we've always seen between mount kenya and uh rift valley hule kugongana gongana Ni kama ni fighting for, you know, just like what was experienced in uh, 2013, 14 there, where Mount Kenya leaders walikuwa ni kama anda kuchukua kila kitu on their side at the expense of the Rift Valley leaders. So, what you are seeing, Saizi, it is just a replica of that which was, was seen back then. Also, a replica of what was seen in 2003 when Mwai Kibaki took over. 
you know you know about the six m's murungaru murungi muiraria muiraria i think uh, and, and then there is a there were six m's matakarua there is another one i don't know i don't know but uh, there were six m's so this ones these six m's formed uh, those uh, leaders in mount kenya who were pulling everything to their side you know so there was also some, some kind of a uh, coalition in the government i think that is the reason why you find that mwai kibaki's first term ili kwa a lot of turmoil ili kwa na issue issue nyingi the reason was is the past tussle between regions so what we are experiencing now according to what attorney general has said is just akin to what we've always seen in kenya so ladies and gentlemen i'd like to rest my case here perhaps if you're watching this video you're not subscribed please subscribe like this video so until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed